Carolina, this is Sheena, aka Naturally Pumpkin, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own escape room. Uh, uh, breakdown of the escape room first you need to create your own game map for what you're exactly trying to accomplish in the escape room some things you want to think about is the location of your game i chose to make a slaughterhouse in my garage now the perfect part about having this escape room in the garage was i had two locked doors that the players can basically try to figure out to get out now I knew that I had to hide a key somewhere. Next, you want to come up with a story. I decided a slaughterhouse because it was easy to put like rats around the garage, uh, like broken, bloody limbs. Um, also, it was a great area for the projector to be set up so I can have any type of wording that would say, I don't know, help or something like that along those lines. For this particular escape room, I set a time limit of 60 minutes. The program that I use was iMovie, which they help you with trailers, but you can make them yourself. It's pretty easy. And you can always create your own sounds using GarageBands or the little snippets that they have included in the program. I had created a miniature video that also included clues within the video. You can always use the effects to drag it along, slow it down, or repeat it twice. Here's a quick view of the video I created. You gotta get out of here. He's coming back. He likes to cut off limbs and put them in a bucket. I love it when he's struggle. You have only one hour to get out of this closet taking place. Get out of here! Ah! Here's a breakdown part two. The wall code was the code to the box, which was on the chair, and within that box was a UV light. In the bucket, there was a decoder that had a puzzle alongside with it. There was a key inside of it. This key went to the freezer. Once you opened up the freezer, there was the mannequin head. So once you open the mannequin's head, you will also find another key inside. That key went to the lockbox. There you will find a key to the door to escape. I chose a group size of four to five people. If you have any questions or any advice as far as my next escape room, please let me know. Comment below. Also, remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time, and you all have a good one.